Allah is one. He is the only one who created everything. Allah is one. He is the only one who created everything. Can you see the moon? Can you see the sun? Can you see the shining stars? Allah made them all. Can you see the night? Can you see the day? Can you see the clouds high? Allah made them all. Allah is one. He is the only one who created everything. Can you see the birds flying up so high? Can you see them in the sky? Allah made them all. Allah can hear me. Allah can see me. Allah can hear me. Allah can see me. Wherever I am, Allah is with me. We must believe in faith. Allah's divine faith. Whether it's good or bad, we still believe it's faith. We still believe it's faith. Everything in the universe is controlled by Allah. Everything in the universe is following Allah's faith. Allah is one. He is the only one who created everything. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Welcome again to the stories of the prophets peace be upon them. And we are still with the story of Musa عليه السلام Moses peace be upon him. Now the story is within the forty years, the punishment that Allah سبحانه وتعالى bestowed on the children of Israel as a punishment for them for refusing the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to attack the city that was promised for them in Palestine. If they just attacked, they would have been victorious and they will have been rulers of Palestine, but they refused. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them that they will be lost within the, the southern part of Palestine and Sinai for 40 years. During these 40 years, Two major stories happened. There are a lot of things that happened, but two major stories happened in the 40 years. The first one started when the children of Israel, they dis discovered one of their chiefs being killed. They found the body of one of their chiefs stabbed and killed. They did not know who killed that chief. So they started to investigate, searching for the one who killed him. But they could not find them. So they came to Musa السلام, asking, Oh Musa, tell us, who killed this man? You're a prophet of God, Allah tells you the unseen. So who told, who, who is the killer, the, the murderer of this person? Of course, Musa السلام, replied that he did not know because he's only human, but he will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pray to him that he, Allah will guide him to the murderer of this man. It was a very serious matter, as this man was one of their chiefs. So Musa السلام, started a great prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he asked Allah to show him who killed this man. The people of children were waiting for the answer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel who told Musa السلام, to tell his people that to know who is the murderer, you must slaughter a cow. What a strange way of finding a murderer. Allah commands you that you sacrifice a cow. They said, are you mocking us? Are you joking with us? We're asking you who's the murderer, you're telling us to slaughter a cow? He said, this is the order of Allah. And they said, come on, Musa, don't be a fool. Tell us the truth. What did Allah tell you? He said, what? I don't play games with the words of Allah, with the orders of Allah. Oh, Allah, save me from those who are ignorant. You cannot mock the words of Allah. 
Some people play with the Quran and they were just joking. You cannot joke with the words of Allah, with the orders of Allah. You may joke with, <laughs> with almost anything else, but not the orders of Allah. So, I am serious and you must slaughter a cow so I can tell you who is the murderer. So they said, okay, if that is what Allah wants. And they went and they started looking for a cow and every time they wanted to slaughter a cow, is this a suitable cow? Maybe not. Let's find another cow. And they, everyone would suggest a different cow and so on. And then... They could not decide. So they came back to Musa السلام, and they said, Oh Musa, go back to your Lord. Go back to Allah and ask him to show us what kind of cow should we slaughter? I mean, Musa said, just slaughter any cow. They said, no, no, we want more information. What kind of a cow? Musa السلام, went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prayed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, through the angel, that this cow should not be too old, should not be too young, it should be middle age. Now do what you have been commanded, just slaughter a cow. Now there are hundreds of middle aged cows, so it is easy for them to slaughter any cow. They could have started with any cow, now they f must find a middle aged cow. So they went, and there were hundreds, as I said, of cows that are middle aged, they said, oh, come on, which one, which one should we slaughter? See, again, don't play games with the orders of Allah. Allah tells you, don't use riba, usury. Then don't use usury, don't play with it. But they wanted to play with the words of Allah. Every time they wanted to say, no, maybe that's not what the one, the, 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 the good cow, this is not the one that Allah wants and so on. So they started quarreling among them. They went back to Musa alayhi salam and they said, Oh Musa, beseech your Lord, ask your Lord to make plain to us what color is that cow. He said, come on, just love that cow. He said, no, no, we want to know exactly what color is that cow. Musa السلام, prayed, the answer came that it's a yellow cow, pure rich in tone, it has no other color but yellow on it. So this is the cow you should slaughter. A cow that is very yellowish, pure rich in tone, and an admiration to anyone. I mean, anyone who would look at it would admire it. So they went, and there were still tens of cows that are totally yellowish or brownish so they could not make the distinction and every time they wanted to slaughter this cow they would differ among them they could not decide and they did, they really did not want to follow the orders of Allah I mean they, they thought that Musa was joking they were not serious about the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they went back to Musa alayhi he said, they said, oh, Musa, come on, please ask your Lord for more description. We want a description that would give us a specific cow that we can slaughter. And Musa, alayhi salam, took the matter to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the orders came from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he says, Musa said that Allah says, it is a cow that does not work. It is not used in farming and uh, lowing the earth and so on. And it should not be used also for uh, bringing water or carrying water. It has no marks on it, not any kind of any mark. There is no marks on it, not birth marks, not color marks, not injury marks, no marks. And it's a cow that is never used. Now, there is rarely a cow that is not used to, to, to plow the earth or bring some uh, water out and so on. So, Musa السلام, gave them this description and then he said, he gave them the description and said, you 
obey your Lord. And they said, now you told us the truth. <laughs> Just imagine how they talk to their prophet. Now, only now you tell us the truth. Now we can find a specific cow. So they went looking for this cow and there was no cow of that description. They looked and looked and looked and there was no cow of this description. And then out of the crowd came a small orphan boy pulling behind him a cow that has the exact descriptions. A man saw the orphan with this cow and he knew that the children of Israel would pay anything for that cow. So he went to the boy and he said to him, do not sell them the cow unless they pay its way in gold. They must pay the weight of that cow in gold. Then and only then sell them the cow. The young boy came. So the children of Israel saw the cow. They immediately recognized this is the cow they want. And they came to the boy, sell us this cow. And he said, no, I don't want to sell my cow. So they started to offer and increase. And he said, no. And he kept saying no. Now this chief that was killed was from a very, very wealthy family. And they were willing to pay anything to find the murderer of, him, of that chief. So they started to increase the amount. And the boy said, only if you pay the way of this cow in gold, only then will I sell it to you. They said, this is too much. Said, I'm not selling. So they went among themselves, discussed it. Finally, they agreed. See, this, this is, uh, again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has its way, his ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his ways in giving wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to make this young orphan rich. So the whole story came because of that. Finally, they paid. And they came with the cow and they said, Musa, we paid a wealth for this cow. He said, I told you in the beginning, just slaughter any cow. You brought this on yourselves. See, sometimes some people, that when they deal with religion, they deal this way. If they just prayed, or if they just paid charity, but the, they want to question everything and they want to go into the details of everything and of what did every scholar say and so on. And they would make it hard on themselves. Just do what the scholars tell you. If, if you trust a scholar, just follow. Don't go and find ways and make it hard for yourself. Religion is not supposed to be hard. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made religion easy for us. So anyway, Musa alayhi salam said, regardless of what you paid for it, you must slaughter that cow. They said, this is too much. We're killing a cow worth its weight in gold. And that is a lesson. When you, when you question religion and you do not deal with it in a, in a relaxed way, in a simple way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will let you make religion hard upon yourself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his ways. So, finally, finally, after all of this, I mean, this was a very simple issue, just slaughter a cow. Now it became a hard issue. Finally, they slaughtered a cow. And nothing happened. They still did not know who killed that man. So Musa السلام, went and prayed. Oh Allah, what should I do now? You ordered us to slaughter a cow? We did. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said through the angel to Musa السلام, cut it in pieces and take one of the pieces. The story is narrated. Take the thigh and hit the man, the dead man, with that piece of meat. What a strange order. What does this have to do with finding the murderer? But that is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his ways. So when Musa came with this answer, they started to laugh. What is this? Are you serious? This is a dead man. 
What does this have to do with finding the murderer? And then he said, I don't know. This is the order of Allah. So they said, let's do it. Let's see what will happen. So they slaughtered the cow. They cut it into pieces. They took the thigh and they went to the dead man. And the whole tribe was gathering next to this dead man. And Musa السلام, hit the dead man with a piece of meat. And a miracle happened. This dead man became alive. Woke up, opened his eyes. A great, a strange miracle. And then sat down. Everyone was shaking out of fear. This is a man who has been dead for a while. Now he's alive. And then this man turned to one of the people and pointed at him. And he said, this man, and he named him, is my murderer. He is the one who killed me. And the dead man fell dead again. Very strange situation. An amazing, amazing miracle happening in front of their eyes. So they caught the murderer. Yes, at the end of the things, at the end of all things, they knew the murderer. It was all a plan to show, to show the children of Israel and to show us the ability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatness, the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have doubts, you ridiculed and mocked Musa alayhi salam. Now look and see, watch for yourselves a miracle happening. This is for those among you who have not seen miracles before. Those who have been in Egypt have seen the miracles with Pharaoh. And those who went with Musa into Sinai have seen these miracles. Now for those who did not see miracles, see one for yourselves. See a great one, how Musa السلام, would raise the dead. Isa السلام, Jesus raised the dead, and Musa السلام, also raised the dead. And that is the situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also teaching us through this lesson that just obey. Don't try to fool with religion. Allah will make it harder on you. Just obey. Don't be like the children of Israel. Don't be like the Israelis. Just obey. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come at the end of this story as a comment written in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, did their hearts soften after that? No. They just saw another miracle and they still, they, did, they saw it with their own eyes and they still, their hearts did not soften. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that their hearts were like stones. They are not affected. And the, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used stones here because every day they would see a stone cracking into 12 springs. Now, they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is saying, Rocks may soften, but their hearts and souls would not. They had cruel hearts, cruel beings, the, the children of Israel, who did not obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And an amazing story, a, a great story. Another major story that happened for Musa alayhi salam during the, the, the years of wandering is the great story between Musa alayhi salam and Al-Khidr alayhi salam. Al-Khidr. Before we go into the story, and I, I will describe it in detail to you, most scholars believe that Al-Khidr, who is not named in the Quran, just as a wise man, that's how he mentioned in the Quran. Al-Khidr, this is the agreement of all the scholars on his name, was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the agreement of most scholars and they all agree that he was a wise man and they all agree that his name was Al-Khidr. Some, some say that he was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A, a prophet of a different way. There are, sometimes there were many prophets living at the same time. 
We see Musa and Harun, both prophets, living at the same time. Al-Khidr was another prophet, but he was not a messenger. He did not have a message. He did not bring laws. That's the difference between messengers and prophets. Messengers bring a message. They, have, they, have a, they bring laws from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophets follow other messengers. So he was a prophet, but not a messenger. Very wise, very great person that had a special kind of knowledge. And his story with Musa alayhi salam is an amazing story. The story between Musa and Al-Khidr is our great story in the next episode, inshallah. Thank you for following the stories of the Prophet's peace be upon them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.